Good morning. Russia and Canada, that's what I have. I really enjoyed this. I was listening to Russians talking about Tucker Carlson. They have been showing Tucker Carlson on Russian television when he's talking about the Ukraine war, I suppose. See? And now Tucker is in Moscow. Uh, so Russian television talked to people in Moscow about Tucker. This is what this is. It's fantastic. I'll post a link to it. So there's an old lady, there's some gentlemen talking, you see. One of them said, a good, honest, the bravest American journalist. Another one said, he's known for telling the truth, which is why he's facing criticism in the United States. <laughs> These people seem to know what's happening, you see. Another one said, I heard he came here to Moscow. I don't know if they will let him come back. <laughs> and he laughed. Oh, brilliant. What do you think? What do you think uh, Joe Biden will do about this? I think this, will, this is making them very uncomfortable. You know, the American administration. Maybe Kamala Harris can call Putin and tell him we don't want you to talk to Tucker. Uh, this could be war. We don't want you to talk to him, you see. What is so uncomfortable about this thing, this possible talk between Tucker and Putin? Maybe it is because Putin might say something. You know. He might confirm what so many people know now about the Ukraine war, especially. But more people will know. And that's the disaster they want to avoid, I think. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. If that talk is done, it will be the biggest, well, it's a huge thing. What do you think? You think people will watch this? Tucker Carlson talking to Putin? Wow. Well, Right, I also have this, this is from Canada. You remember Yaroslav Hunka, this guy who was invited to the Canadian Parliament. And he was a Nazi during the Second World War. He was fighting for the Germans. You know. And when he got to the Parliament, he got a standing ovation from all these MPs in the Canadian par Parliament. <laughs> It's one of the best stories from last year, I think. And this guy had to resign, Antony Rutta. He was the Speaker of the House, I think. So he got all the blame for this. Not Trudeau. This guy did the mistake. <laughs> he invited this Nazi. See? All, the, all these people clapping. It's uh, priceless. Anyway, there's more to this. So the Speaker of the House had to resign. And th this is, I'm reading this in the CBC, you know, the state funded government broadcaster, you know, Canada. And they say this. Uh, so this guy got a standing ovation. He was fighting for the Rus he was fighting the Russians during the Second World War. Then media reports later revealed he fought for Nazi Germany. As if they didn't know this. Well, maybe they didn't know. They don't know history, maybe. No. Anyone fighting the Russians in the war, they were fighting for the Nazis. They didn't know. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. It's amazing anyway. Now there's more to this. See? Because this guy, uh, Yaroslav Hunka, the Nazi, he got another invitation. He didn't go, but he was invited to attend a Toronto rally honoring Zelensky. And this invitation they found this out, right? This invitation was sent on behalf of Trudeau. Right. 
Oh, this guy is a mystery to do. He's clinging on. What is it with this guy? He's got something on all these people around him. They are too afraid of him. What's going on? Maybe they are afraid of his emotional fits. Oh, don't say anything about resignation. No, he will throw himself on the floor crying. Oh, it's terrible. We can't deal with this. See? Maybe. All right. Be good.